Tigers. Oh, now. Seventeen down the line, outside ball. Going to quick throw down. Three o two down the right field line. Definitely some of our guys could get that out on that right right side. Okay, we're going to start all over for the third time, live from Burlington Edison High School. It's Uncle Mike. I apologize for the tape delay. Foul ball out of play. Truce is up. Our second batter, Kai Nelson, walked. Count is now full. Three balls, two strikes. Welcome everybody all around the PNW, all over the United States. Jake Truce at the plate. Kai Nelson safe at first base. We're at Burlington Edison High School, the home of the Burlington Tigers. Great baseball tradition. There goes Kai. Ball four. He's up with a walk. Brings to the plate, Joe Toop, our center fielder. He covers some ground out there. Time called. Catcher goes out to converse with the pitcher and the shortstop, trying to put some stuff on. Umpires are from the Skagit County League. Like I said earlier, it is Umpire Appreciation Day. They gave the umpires a certificate at the beginning of the ball game which might be the only thing the umpires get that's positive today. Okay, maybe not. Joe True up. Big twofer. Runners at first and second. Strike one called. No balls, one strike. Babe Ruth number today. I love it when they wear their reds, and he's wearing the Babe Ruth number because he's playing like Babe Ruth. Swings that stick like Babe Ruth. Big lead by Kai at second. Hard shot back over to the dugout. That, that'll get them scattered over there. Tea party's broken up. No balls, two strikes. 0-2 on the batter. Beautiful day, as I said earlier, gave my weather report. I was watching the uh, multi-radar. Hard hit, ball in the dirt, foul ball. Come 
watching the Doppler radar all day. It was raining hard this morning when we were driving down I-5 going to work past the field here. But now it cleared up and beautiful out. Ooh, strike three looking. Brings the plate with two on, with one out. The first baseman, the big redhead, number 25, Jesse Harward. Coach Tom's down there on that third baseline with both crutches today. He must have gotten in trouble uh, <laughs> the other day. He was walking around way too much. It must have hurt. Uh, just for an update, Coach uh, Tom just had hip surgery. He is battling like nobody's business. Kai with a medium lead. Yep, knew that was coming. Medium lead. Shortstop was in and out. Catcher was giving some signals. I'll get some names and get some things going here for you as we get going to set the offense. Tough. These 4 o'clock games are tough for us running from work and trying to get here to give you the, a great broadcast. m and Broadcasting Network. Hi for ball one on the big redhead. He shaved off that beard. That was good. Starting to bother me a little bit. <laughs> but it sure was red. So one ball, no strikes on Jesse. Strike right down Cornwall. One ball, one strike, one out. Joe. Jake is at first. Kai is at second. Jesse's up. In the dirt. That gets by him. Everybody's going to move up 60 feet. Wild pitch through the catcher's five hole, all the way to the backstop, moves everybody up to third and second. Hard foul ball, left side. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Jesse's ready. Pitcher rocks and fires. Hard hit ball, left side. That's going to score a run. That's going to score a run. Yep, RBI time. Hit the ball to the right side. one nothing Bayhawks. Good PC hitting right there by Jesse Harward. Owen Rasmussen steps to the plate. is up. Ball outside. Rass pitched a heck of a game the other night against Mount Vernon. That Mount Vernon Bulldog team, you're going to watch them, folks. They're going to go high up the ladder, ranked, I think, sixth in the state of Washington right now in all of high school baseball. Outside, ball two for Rass. one nothing Bayhawks. Uh, let, me, let me just fix that. All right. Yeah, I'm in charge of that today. I forgot. There we go. one nothing Bayhawks. Yeah, there you go. Nice job. High ball three. Three balls and no strikes on Owen Rasmussen. So like they're saying, Rass did a great job. Threw a lot of pitches, did an unbelievable job on the dish or at the at, uh, on the on the bump on Tuesday night. And it was a rough night. It was cold. Strike one called a little low. That was gonna be automatic. It was like rough. Three balls, one strike, two outs, runner at third base. I thought maybe we weren't even plugged in. Ball low, and Rass walks to bring to the plate the catcher, number one, Joe Harward. He's trying to get his gear off. Runners into the corners. Runners on first and second, or sorry, that corner's all, you got to run hard. Third base tries to make a play, no play. That was hard hit. Nah, yeah, you got it, that was a tough play. Now 
Nice job by Joe. Hits the ball in the gap for a single. Touched by the third baseman trying to come over to make the play. Got the RBI. Now it's 2 nothing Bayhawks. Still the top of the first inning. Two outs. Outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Blue sky above us. Slight breeze. Not too cold either. A little, a little warmer than I thought it was going to be. I brought my sweatshirt just in case, though. Ball high. Two balls, no strikes. Owen Rasmussen at second. Joe Harwood at first. Two nothing. Hunter has been swinging the bat well. Foul ball. Hunter got a big hit against Mount Vernon for two RBIs. Hunter, Jesse, and Joe with the big hits against Mount Vernon. And we're just going to start and just keep right on moving now. It's league time back. Owen gets back. And yeah, they like that tricky little play. Hard hit ball, foul down the right field line. First baseman picks it up. Two balls, two strikes. Thurmond, Thurmond on the mound for Burlington Edison. Throwing a lot of pitches this inning. Walks and fires. Hard hit ball, foul. Two's across the board, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners in second and first. Strike three on Hunter, a little change of pace pitch right there. Two runs with one hit with no errors on the Burlington Edison Tigers. Top half, two nothing. Bellingham, Burlington coming to plate. Welcome back to Burlington High School. Beautiful field right here off of the school. I mean, it's right off the school. Foul balls are hitting the roof of the school. On the bump today, the ace, number seven, Jake Truce. And behind the dish, number one, Joe Harward. Third base, Owen Rasmussen. Shortstop, Kai Nelson. The kid at second ba base, Eric Hellfield. The bigger kid, number 25, the redhead. Jesse Harward, left field, number 16, Hunter Bryant Pearson, center field, number three, Joe Toof, and in right field, number 17, Reese Fickland. All that from memory, folks. Didn't look at the cheat sheet that time. Woohoo, Uncle Mike's getting better. <laughs> I'll just stop adult beverage before we do this, and I'll be in great shape. Joe Harward and Jake Truce. Yeah, we'll take it any way we can get it. 
There we go. Joe, Coach Leonard, then the dugout, calling pitches, and then we're ready to go. Granger up to bat. Jackson Granger, the catcher. Great pitch for a strike one. Way to start things off, Jakey boy. We like that. Bayhawks are ready. They're hunting for a chance to get in the playoffs this year. Woo! Fastball, and it was moving. No balls, two strikes on Granger. Granger's a great catcher, too. He does a great job behind the dish. Blocks the ball well. Tough position. If you're a catcher, you're not very smart, I don't think. I was a catcher, so I could talk about it that way. Hit back up the middle. The kid there to grab it. Throws it. Not in time. Safe at first. That's a base hit. Lincoln Lehman that steps to the plate. Granger at first, big lead over there at first base. Tough to see first base, so I'm going to give you the best play-by-play -play I can from my angle. Jesse's there, ready, waiting for the throw. Jake, there it goes, Joe. Strike one. He's taking a big head fake. Lots of... No balls, one strike. Big lead at first base. Bunt. Gets it down. Get out there in front. Joe picks it up. Good throw. Nobody at third. Nobody covering third base. He goes all the way from first to third on that one. That would be a sacrifice bunt. Uh oh. What do I do here? Press the wrong button. No, we'll get it. Oh, so you tag it and then that sends me a text message? <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm working on the clock. <laughs> Strike one. Yep, strike one. Oh, nice job. I had a 50-50 chance. A lot like my NCAA bracket teams. I picked, took, took Nevada. They're up by 17 and ended up losing. Holy smokes. Yep. Good pitch. Foul ball down the line for strike two. One out. Oh, balls, two strikes. Great bunt right out in front. Throw the ball to first base like they should. Got the out, but nobody covers third base. Third base was wide open, so the base runner was aggressive. Strike three. Great pitch by Jake right there for two outs. Nobody's covering third base runner with a heads-up play, moves himself all the way to third base. Two outs. Hudson Nielsen steps to the dish, the second baseman. Nielsen can hit the ball deep, and this ballpark, if you get it into the right side, it's in the... Football field. Rock and fire. Strike. Great pitch. Jake is right on it early. That's what we need today. Little sunshine, little Jake. We got it. Infield down and ready, and here comes the throw. Curveball for strike two. No balls, two strikes. Jake is right on it. Runner at third off of the sacrifice bunt. Ooh, reaching for it. Oh, knocks off the helmet. Hope it wasn't on a kid's head. It was on top of the dugout, just, just so you don't. Everybody freaking out back home. Or just off the, off the top of the dugout. 0-2, oh, great pitch. Joe was calling for it up there, too. And he swung at that high pitch. So that's telling Joe a little something. Goes to the inside of the plate. Jake's ready. Takes him off the one, takes that one. Ooh, ground ball. That's going to go to Kai. Kai scoops it. Long throw over. Jesse Harvard with a grab for th out number three. Great job for the Bayhawks. No runs on no hits. Oh, sorry, one hit. No Bayhawk errors. 
one runner left on base after one complete. It's Bayhawks 2, the Tigers nothing. We'll be right back. Okay, Burlington's coming in with a new pitcher. Hey, welcome back. It's Uncle Mike back here at Burlington Edison High School. And the Tigers are changing pitchers. That's two. Aldridge is now the new pitcher. About 36 pitches the first guy threw. 2-0 Bellingham, top of the first inning. Beautiful day. Sun's out. Too cold for guns to be out unless you're crazy like my boys are or Uncle Jared, he'd have his guns out. Or Calvin, Calvin probably have his guns out. Appreciate you listening and watching in Utah, Nevada. Grandpa Leonard, can't wait to see you, buddy. All right. Reese Fickland, our right fielder, number 17, gonna Going to lead us off. Outside for ball one. Pitcher rocks and fires. Strike. Good outside pitch right there on the paint in the, pl paint in the plate. One ball, one strike. School's been here a long, long time. Foul tip right back at us, letting us get in the action. <laughs> you need to have a sound like that. One ball, two strikes. We didn't ha even have our fans the other night against Mount Vernon. They didn't even clap after the end of the... <laughs> ball high. Two balls, two strikes on Reese. Hard hit ball to right field. Right fielder takes two steps back and makes the catch for out number one. The kid, number six, the second baseman, Eric Hellfield, steps into the box. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Foul tip. Aldridge coming quickly. He's got a quick wind up. Oh, you can? Right over there. Boom. One ball, one strike. Does it count pitches that way too? Hard hit ball, center field. The kid's hustling to first. Center fielder makes the grab for out number two. It's going to bring us back to the top of the order for Kai Nelson, the shortstop. Granger giving the signs to Aldridge. Aldridge rocks and fires outside for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Two outs. Foul tip. Right there, I pushed that button right there. Boom, foul. Got 
it. No, nope, I did it. Don't be trying to correct me. <laughs> Rock and fire. High for ball. Second, he's going to go to third. He's on the horse. It's a cutoff by the second baseman. Long throw to third. He's safe at third base. What a hit. That got down the line. I couldn't see it. That's a triple. Heck, yeah. Right? That got that got down. The book's not going to give it to him, I don't think. But we are. Jake True steps to the plate. Kai Nelson standing on third with a triple, stand-up triple. He got down a little bit, but it was right there at the very end. It was hit right down the line in the right field. It could not get to it. I know you guys couldn't see it because all you'd see is the dugout. Right fielder made a great hustle, did not make it. Kai standing on third. Ball two, high. He's a lobbyer. Probably going to be a politician someday. <laughs> yeah, why not? Two balls, no strikes. Popped up off of the school. Foul ball. Had to watch it, though, because that thing's going to come back and hit us. Yeah, yeah. My car, my truck's real close. Hey, hey, if lands in the bed of the truck, that definitely is a Lewis Auto Glass. Outside ball. We'd like to thank Lewis Auto Glass for being our sponsor this year. They sponsored football and baseball, and they're great down there. Go down and see the folks at Lewis Auto Glass. Family owned and operated for a million years. Strike called a little low. Okay, not quite a million years. Please don't hold that against me. False advertising. Remember, this is a M&B broadcasting production. Three balls, two strikes on the Jake. Outside for ball four. Runners at the corners. Brings the plate. The right guy, Joe Toof. Joe Toof is overdue like a library book right here. Sun's out, guns are out, let's rip one. Ooh, a little swervy curveball right there, slider. Strike one, kind of a, an excuse me swing by Joe. Granger, great job behind the dish, calling a good game. Aldridge is ready, he rocks and fires. Inside for ball number one. One ball, one strike. Jake Truce at first, Kai Nelson at third. Outside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Beautiful day. Nice fan base. A lot of folks from Burlington here. Bellingham's got a good little fan base going. Love it. Hard to believe it's springtime, second day of spring. Hard hit foul. If we would have straight, straightened that out, that would have been off the Clem sign right there, for number 44, right by the scoreboard. Remember, 317 on the left field line, 302 down the right field line, 375 in deep center field. Outside for ball number three. Three balls, two strikes. Anything close. That is exactly right. Runners on the corners, Joe Toof ready to go. Rock and fires, runners run. Hard hit ball down the first baseline. That's a base hit. That was a rocket. That's going to score a run. Going to third base is Jake. Big red coming to the plate. Three to nothing, Bayhawks. Need a good start. We've got we've got it rolling so far. Nelson scores off the base hit down the line by Joe. Hard hit ball up the middle. That could squeeze through. Yeah, it does. That's a base hit. Yeah. Base hit by Jesse scores a run. RBI time for Big Red. It was a great try, I and mean, that, that guy dove into the hole. And the other day against Mount Vernon, 
Jesse got thrown out by a step at home for a week, three days, two days. He said, I was safe. I was safe. Owen Rasmussen steps to the dish. Two for on second. Jesse up first. Ooh, in the eyes for ball one. Four to nothing. Oh, hard hit. Pop straight up in the air. That's high sky. Trying to make the catch as the catcher. Oh, great play for out number three. He played that perfectly. That ball spinning back though toward the infield. He pats his glove and makes a catch just like Yogi Berra would have back in my day. No, okay, that's too old for me. Two runs on three hits, zero Burlington Edison errors after one and a half. It's Bellingham four, Burlington nothing. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Uncle Mike here live at Burlington Edison High School. Bayhawks out to a quick 4-0 lead in the second. Jake Truce on the mound, and he is humming. Joe throws a nice throw down to second base. Going to bring to the plate. Jackson Thurman, the DH. Big left-handed kid. Jesse moves way back in the hole. Eric moves way back in the second base hole. Third base is in on up tight. And Jake gets ready to rock and fire. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That was almost a check swing. He didn't quite go all the way around. He should have because it was right there. No balls. One strike. Thurman. Going to bunt. Ball one called. It's a squared around a bunt. Sorry, my microphone keeps keep bumping it. One ball, one strike. Good pitch right there. That was almost, that curveball curved exactly where it was supposed to. Came right inside on him, right off his hands. One ball, two strikes. Jake's got the stuff working today. Hard hit ball to right field. There's Reese, makes the catch for out number one. With one out, going to bring up the first baseman, number 25, Tyler Walker. He is really leaned up. This guy, we've played this guy. We've had battles with this guy since he was probably five or six years old. <laughs> Unbelievable player then and even better now. Really worked on his game. Hard hit ball, right side, base hit. Doing what a left-hander needs to do. Hit him where they ain't. Hard hit ball, base hit, runner on first. One out. Cash steps to the plate. Third baseman, Walker's got some wheels for a big guy. He will steal. Colop acts like he's going to bunt, brings Rasmussen in. Strike down the middle. You never know, Joe might throw one. 
Big Red hustled back because he knows. Cash Cola, if he's part of that huge district state Little League teams. Back there for Burlington and Skagit County. Beautiful day in the Skagit Valley. Walker takes a pretty good lead for a big guy. Colop is ready. He doesn't turn to bunt this time. High for ball one. One ball, one strike. Like I was saying, those guys down there at Lewis Auto Glass, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Appreciate your sponsorship. Appreciate you fixing our foul ball windows. Jake's ready. Throws to first base. They got him. Oh, barely got back. They had him fooled. Big lead. Good throw over to first by Jake. Great tag by Jesse. Walker's going to know he was there. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes. One out. Wind was blowing at the beginning of the game. Now the wind's calmed down. Old Glory's just sitting there doing her job, protecting us. Walker with another good lead. He's on the cut out of the grass. Jake gets ready. Throws over to first again. Great stop by Jesse. Another hard tag. Woo. One ball, two strikes. Walker takes another little scoot. Jake sets himself, throws. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Great curve ball again. Or excuse me, strike three. Batter's out. <laughs> McDermott. We're just going to call him McDermott. Now Batty McDermott, he's a center fielder, and he has uh, got some speed out there. Tracked down a really, really good one. McDermott's ready. Walker about to cut out again. Jake sets himself and throws. High pop fly. Off the top of the roof of the school, and two cars later, that's a Lewis Auto Glass foul ball moment. We need to get a dent repair guy for that one, I think. <laughs> that might be instant or something. I don't know. Walker with another good lead. Oh, I got to do this. Good pitch. Hard hit ball. Center field deep. Truce is on his horse. He gets back, back, back. And he makes a catch like it's nobody's business. Joe Tooth out there doing his job, protecting the airflow for out number three. No runs on one hit. There was no Bayhawk errors, and we are at about 11 pitches for Jake Truce for that inning. What's he total? Got to be close to about 24. I'm just guessing. Be right back. Stepping to the plate at the top of the third inning. It's that number one guy, the catcher, Joe Harward. Burlington running the same pitcher. Strike one on Joe. Joe's one for one with an RBI. Aldridge out there throwing. Got the arm hanging. He's ready to go. Joe Loads his hands. Swing and a miss. Foul ball. Ooh. Ball, 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 ball. 
No balls, two strikes on Joe. Rock and fire by Aldridge. Joe pops it up into the net. There you go. Foul ball. Good Buffalo's going to squish 15. I mean, they're chasing after foul balls here in the grass. Aldridge up, time called. Joe calls time. Brings the umpire out. Aldridge is ready. Joe trying to get his timing. Uh oh, uh oh. Pitch or no pitch, Blue? One ball, two strikes. Pitcher was rushing. That's a rush right there. That umpire should call the rush. Ball two. Joe's kind of getting his melon right there a little bit. Aldridge is trying to rush him as he's up there. Joe gets into that box. He's got to be ready to go because that pitch is going to go. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, swing and a miss on the curveball. Strike three for out number one. Hunter Brent Pearson stepping to the plate. Left fielder, number 16. One out. Good curveball right there for strike three. Hunter, another curveball. That's what he's coming with. There's his bread and butter, I'd have to say, as a, an old coach. Got to set in there and drive it now. Hit her before it snaps. No balls, one strike, one out. Ooh, what, that got Hunter trying another curveball, and it did not break, and that's what happens when it does not get around. Don't yell at me. Hit, hit by pitch. <laughs> Hunters, ooh, got back safely. Walker's a big, tall target over there. It's him and him and Jesse, about the same size height-wise. About 6'4". So it gives a pitcher a lot of room. Hunter's really working him over there. Reese Ficklin up to the plate. Reese tries to bunt. There goes Hunter on the pass ball. Dribbles by the catcher. Stolen base here somewhere. I know I saw it. <coughs> Foul ball. Hunter at second on a stolen base pass ball. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes. Sorry, I'm a little behind. So I'm having a coughing attack, trying to talk. <coughs> Excuse me. Some bad broadcasting etiquette there, clearing my throat in your living room. One ball, two strikes, one out. Beautiful day. Ooh, another curveball. Fouled it off. He is feeding curveballs today. Aldridge is full of the <coughs> Uncle Charlie's. One ball, two strikes. Low. Nothing else seems to be hitting the strike zone except for Uncle Charlie. Or it hits you in the back, as Hunter would say. 2-2, two -two, one out. Aldridge sets himself, checks the runner at second. Another curveball. That's all you can do. That's all you can do is just battle the curveball. <clears throat> Reese Thicklund at the plate, working hard, battling. Going to have to battle another one. Here it comes. Yep, another curveball for strike three. Aldridge is bringing the curve. That brings Eric Hellfield, the kid. The kid started out on a tear, still batting really, really well. There was no butterflies there. Ball outside. 
we're going to try, once we get kind of caught up, we'll do some informational stuff about some of the players that you don't know, because you definitely don't know this guy. He just came up as a sophomore, ball high. Played on the JV last year as a freshman. And as I've said before, really worked hard during the offseason. Every Sunday I came to the field, he was there. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Hunter at second. Ball high. Three balls, no strikes. That curveball doesn't work as well against a left-hander. <laughs> but it can. Three balls, no strikes for the kid. Aldridge rocks and fires for ball number four. And that's how the kid is. He just stayed right there. He wasn't going to show the umpire up or anything by walking out. Nothing. He just stayed right there, walked down to first base. Very good sportsmanship. Now brings the plate. Number nine, shortstop, Kai Nelson. Kai with a big triple down the right field line last time. Touching the hard hit ball, right, left side. Oh, third baseman bobbles it. He's got nowhere to go. That's going to be an error on the third baseman, but that's going to get the job done to move the runners around. Is there a place for an error there or not? No, right there. Read the whole thing. Bases are juiced. Jake Truce to the plate. Help his own cause right here with a base hit. Ball high. Great shatter from the Bayhawks dugout. Jake can... Open it up a little more, a little curveball trying that didn't didn't hit, didn't break. Broke a little late, inside tight. One, two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Hard hit ball. That's gonna be trouble. That's gonna get down. Oh, great play by the right fielder to lay out for the catch for out number three. Great play right there. That bad boy was dying in the right fielder. He just kept right on trucking to make that play for out number three. No runs on no hits, no errors. Pitcher threw about 23 pitches that inning, left three runners on for the Bayhawks. After two and a half, it's still 4 nothing. Bellingham, we'll be right back. Welcome back, Uncle Mike and my sidekick, Brock, here. That's right. You know, they can probably hear you sometimes. <laughs> He's the behind-the-scenes guy. That's the way Brock is. Jake Truce got himself a four-run lead. He's thrown 23 pitches. He's done a great job the first two-and-a-half innings. <clears throat> Thank you. Paxtall steps to the batter's box. Truce is ready. Rocks and fires for strike one. You young pitchers need to come to the ballpark early one night and just watch Jake Truce warm up. He has got a great warm up. Strike two, great fastball, great regiment that he does to warm up. 
Arm care is so important for longevity as a pitcher, and Jake does it better than any of the other young guys I've seen. Oh, <laughs> Woo, boy. That was right there. Just a bit outside. Not much, though. One ball, two strikes. Joe sets up for the outside pitch. Ooh, and Jake goes the other way. Two balls, two strikes. A little chatter from the Brunken sideline. Outside, ball three. Three balls, two strikes. This guy should have been set down right there on that third straight strike pitch. I think that kind of rattled a little bit. Got to focus back up, seven. Here we go. Jake walks and fires. There it is. Boom. Same exact spot as it was the very first time. But now we got the call, so we're not going to complain too much. Remember, well, the concession stand is now open. Not just now. But just remember what I said. It is Umpire Appreciation Day. So make sure you please hug your umpire. Okay? The catcher, top of the order, Jackson Granger. Outside, ball one. Nice looking pitch right there. Granger's not afraid to swing the bat. He'll, he'll hit it hard. Rasmus is in on the grass, in and on the corner. Jesse midway between the bags. High in the eyes, fastball, ball two. Two balls, no strike. One out. Outfield straight away. Strike right down Main Street. Good pitch right there by Jake. Two balls, one strike. There's action in the Burlington bullpen. Their pitcher's already thrown about 50 pitches. Woo! <laughs> that fooled another hugging umpire. Three balls, one strike. Even the home scorer thinks it was strike. There's two. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Anything close right here, Granger's going to have to protect. And he is late on it. There it is. Yep, foul ball. Three balls, two strikes. Oh, foul ball off the right side. Way to battle. Good Buffalo about took out the umpire that time. Concession stand is now open, so I hope it's open at your house, wherever you're at throughout the country. Grab yourself a hot dog and a beverage. Five o'clock somewhere. Ball in the dirt. Ball four. Is it five o'clock? Right here, right now? On the dot? I guess I do need to get a lottery ticket. <laughs> They're going to have a courtesy runner. Number 10. Fleshman is the courtesy runner. Lehman at the plate, Fleshman, uh, about a step and a half. Well, he's going to scoot back a step. He's kind of afraid of Jake. Just a little bit. Gets off again. Hard hit ball at the middle. There's Kai. Makes a great play. Going to try for two. Oh, great grab by Jesse on a great play by Kai. Holy cow. That was a great dive up the middle to get that out for out number two. Four nothing. Bayhawks. Cody Richesender. That's a long name to have on the back of your jersey, I'll just tell you. Can I buy a Val Vanna? 
little bit bigger lead by Fleshman over there at first. Now there goes Jake to go after him. Nice tag in the helmet. <laughs> I love that kid. He is an aggressive little first baseman. Okay, not little. Not anymore. Hard hit ball down the left field line. That could be out of play. Hunter's there, right there, watches it go foul. No balls, one strike, two outs. On the edge of the grass for a base runner, right there in the cutout. All right, takes another big lead. Oh, great fastball, blew it by him. Get your blue by you. Woo. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Beautiful day here in the Skagit Valley. Don't forget tulip time right around the corner. Second day of spring. Jake checks the runner. And there he goes. Popped it up. All right, that's a foul ball, and you know what that that is a Lewis Auto Glass. You need to have a gra glass breaking. Zero balls, two strikes, two outs. Lewis Auto Glass foul ball moment. Mount Vernon, Bellingham, and Linden for your glass needs. Hard hit ball down the line. That could be fair. Hunter's right there. Makes the catch in foul territory for out number three. Hunter, Bryant, Pearson taking it. Three or four steps to his right, right on the foul line to make the play. No runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left on base. After three complete, the Bayhawks four, the Tigers nothing. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Baseball live in Burlington Edison High School. Burlington, Washington, lead us off. Number three, the center fielder, Joe. I can catch any fly ball that comes my way. Toof, we love this kid. He is a horse, a stud. I don't know what you want to call him. This guy just can play the game. And his blonde hair, he looks the part, I just got to say. Outside for ball one to twofer. Aldridge struggling a little bit last inning. His curveball was working, but the fastball wasn't. Tries to throw a fastball by him inside for ball number two. Two balls, no strikes. And file bar Aldridge. Oh, hit hard. Left fielder goes back, kind of comes towards center field. Fly ball out. Number one. He is. Look at that. He improved. Seven to the plate. The first baseman, number 25, Jesse Harward. This guy's going to have to work big red on the outside right here. Folks, I'll be right back with you. Ball two, another outside pitch. Fight it off right here. Oop, no dump button. 
Sorry, folks. My last time yelling at him. Ooh, good swing. First strike, one. Two balls, one strike on the big red-headed kid from Acme Town, USA, baby. Hard swing, foul ball, strike two. Two balls, two strikes. The board says three and two. I think I'm right. Ball in the dirt. Now it's three, two. Jesse chokes up just a little bit so he can make contact right here. Great contact hitter. Hard hit foul. Oh, boy, that is a Lewis Auto Glass. Ooh, that took two cars out. <laughs> oh, boy. This is rough parking here at Burlington High School. You got to park in the, in the bus lane. Jesse's Lewis Auto Glass moment. Three balls, two strikes. Hard hit ball up the middle. That's a base hit. That's hit hard. Center field straight away. Single by the big red-headed kid. Nice job. Good piece of hitting right there. Third baseman Owen Rasmussen steps to the plate. One out, Jesse up first. Aldridge takes a peek over at the big red-headed kid. Puts the bunt down. There he goes. First base side. Good bunt. That's going to be a great sacrifice bunt right there for Rass. Moves Jesse to second. Step into the box, Joe Harward, the catcher. Jesse Harward on second. Hard hit ball to the second baseman. He's going to have to dig it out. Oh, almost made it, almost beat it out, but ground ball to second base for out number three. For Bellingham in that half of the inning, no runs, one hit, no errors, one runner left on base. After three and a half, it's four nothing Bayhawks. Go Hawks! I'll be right back. Welcome back to Burlington Edison High School. Live, live music and baseball. Sunshine. It must be spring in the valley. All right. Hudson Nielsen made a great play right there. Joe's ball hit in the gap a little bit. He stepped back, made a good throw. 
Y'all will beat that out. Jake, ready to go. One pitch popped up. That could be trouble. Foul ball. You have to be alive here at uh, the Burlington Edison Ballpark. I have to call it Coach Clem's Field, but they won't let me do that because he hasn't passed away yet. Unbelievable baseball guy here in the Burlington neighborhoods. Ball, good block by Joe. One ball, one strike. Jake has done a great job. Just continues to battle. Great defense behind him as well today. Good pitch, good hit up the middle. Good piece of hitting right there. Jackson Thurman, big left-hander, got his goggles on. Going to make something happen right here. Now Burlington's coach likes to play small ball. No pinch runner. No go. Oh, golf swings one. That was in the dirt. That helped out. No balls, one strike. Thurman steps back in the box. Jake's ready to go. Nelson at first. Pretty good lead. Not nah, he's back. Jake's ready. He rocks and fires. Good pitch inside on the hands. Lewis Auto Glass moment. Yeah, in between. That's amazing how that ball has its own eyes. It doesn't crash into a window. But you'd have to go to Lewis Auto Glass at Mount Vernon to get that taken care of. No balls, two strikes. Jake stands tall on top of the bump, and away he goes. Foul ball, excuse me, swing. Thurman just trying to protect. We got lucky weather-wise today because I thought for sure we were going to be under the tent. Here, you, here you'd be in mud up to your ears. Ooh, inside swerve ball. One ball, two strikes. But nope. The good man upstairs protected us again today. We appreciate that. Fluffy clouds out there. One ball, two strikes. Low, that was close. 2-2. Two -two. Thanks, everybody, for joining us all around the Pacific Northwest, Tacoma, Bellingham, Sacramento, California. Let us know where you're joining us from. We'd love to give you a shout-out. Give us your name, the player you're supporting. We'd love to give you a little notice. Good pitch right there by Jake. Foul ball. I have to thank Brock for putting everything together. Great job. All I do is just come and show up and talk like I usually do. The best thing about this is it keeps me from yelling at umpires as much. So don't forget today is Hug an Umpire Day. Two balls, two strikes. It's Major League Baseball right around the corner next Thursday opening day. Ground ball right there to, oh. Got, oh, he missed it. Good hustle, Joe. That's an, that's an error. Ball hit to Kai. Kai goes to turn the double play, throws it to the kid. The kid misses it. Tyler Walker, this guy will bang one. What do we got? Fielder's choice? That's an error. Walker's up. Runner's on second. Ooh, good pitch. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, you got to give it to the guy on the throw. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's an error on, on, on Eric. Yeah, error on Eric. He fielded it cleanly. Swing and a miss on the big Walker. One ball, one strike. Tyler Walker, big drink of water. More of a slurpy cup size guy. One ball, one strike. Ooh, down Main Street right there, right down Cornwall. Don't forget, awesome time festival coming. Two balls, one strike. You take a turn around this locker, get you. No, the bathroom's a long ways away, folks. That's why we were talking about it. Just saying. Swing and a miss, strike three. Jake strikes him out. Great job by Jake Cruz right there to get the big left-handed Walker kid for out number two. Cash Cole up comes to the plate. Runners at second. Runners at first. That was a fielder's choice in an air. Cash is a really, really good hitter. Him and Walker and those guys all played Little League against our guys. Outside. Whew, that was. <laughs> there we go. Uncle Mike giving me his. Because <laughs> it was close. I got to tell you, I got a Picasso on the mound. I don't have a Picasso for an umpire. There's no paint in the corners with this guy right now. Good pitch, Ooh, same spot. Strike, one ball, one strike. Rock and fire, yeah. Everybody hear that? Oh, oh, good. I'm glad I have a beep button because I needed it right there. Two balls, one strike. That was really close, folks. You can't see that. Oh, my goodness. Nice pitch. Great job, Jake. Come on, babe. Two balls, two strikes, and there's two outs. It says one out. Am I right? Is there two outs? One out? It says two outs here on the. Nah, it was me on the fielder's choice. Foul ball off the camera. That stayed there. Right there. No. Okay. Are you good? Two balls, two strikes, one out. Yeah. Ah, Joe, throw him out. He's out. He's out. Runners move up. That's right. Yep. Swing and strike. Strike three. Yep. Pass ball. Yep. Abdullah McDermott is now up, the center fielder. McDermott with runners in scoring position for the. Tigers, rock and fire, hard hit shot. Oh, good play by Rass. Picks it up, long throw over to Jesse. Long stretch for out number three. Great job right there. Good piece of feeling by Owen Rasmussen. Snags it right there on the edge of the grass and the dirt. Makes a long throw over to Jesse Harwood with a great stretch for the out. No runs on one hit. There was one hit. Bayhawk air, and there was two runners left on base. After four complete, it is still the Bellingham Bayhawks four and the Burlington Edison Tigers nothing. Uncle Mike will be right back.
welcome back. Hunter Bryant Pearson steps to the plate. Ball one on Hunter. Oh, not the pitch they were giving Jake, but going to give it right here. Nope, strike. One ball, one strike. Hard hit ball by Hunter into the left field. Left fielder coasts over, makes the catch for out number one. Ficklin steps the plate. Ooh, high pitch helps him helps the pitcher out for swing and miss. Strike one. Rock and fire high again for ball one. Reese doesn't chase that one. Can fire curveball doesn't fall into place. Ball two, two balls and one strike. Two balls, one strike, one out. Underneath it, pop fly, foul ball off the tree behind me. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. Aldridge, swing and a miss, strike three. Great pitch by Aldridge right there. Two outs, brings the plate to Kidd. Eric Hellfield. High for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Good cut by the kid. Getting kind of cloudy out off the west, off the coast right there. Going to kind of shade that sun early. It's going to get chilly. Good swing. Popped up in the infield. Straight up in the air. Shortstop there to make the catch for out number three. For the Bayhawks, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base after four and a half. Four nothing. Bellingham, be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Baseball right here on MMB Broadcasting Network. We're excited to be bringing you Bayhawk Baseball all season long. Bayhawks are two wins, three losses, 0-1 in league. Looking to try to change that today. Jake's done a great job so far and for complete. Joe with a throw down of... Second base, great throw. 
not getting a lot of help over there. <laughs> and we are ready to start the bottom of the fifth inning. Pax, Jake Paxfall steps in. Who he did, he went strike one on the bunt. And he was reaching for it. Umpire made the call. No balls, one strike. He's going to bunt again. Oh, strike two. Good pitch. Should have bunted that one. Jake Paxfall is the number nine guy. Swing and a miss, strike three. Great pitching by Jake Truce right there. You got to like that in the fifth inning. Still throwing hard. Jackson Granger, top of the order for the Tigers, coming to the plate. One out. Some great three pitches right there by Truce. Takes a sign from Joe. Joe's ready to go. Rocks and fires. Great pitch on the outside edge of the plate for strike one. Jake and Joe work really well together. Joe's got a lot of pink going today. Good. Whew. Heads up over there. Another Tea Party break wrapper. No balls, two strikes. Granger, he's ready. Jake winds and throws. Foul ball right here in front of him. Another one right there, Blue. Had, had one in the net, got him coming from all different directions. Great hustle by the Bellingham Bayhawks staff. Good Buffalo. He's going to get extra steps in today for that. No balls, two strikes. Ground ball to Kai. Oh, Kai. They did. No. Base hit. Base hit. Almost looked like it was playable. One out, runner on first. Kai tried to make a great play right there. Jake sets. Yeah. Takes a lot of time right there. Runner at first base is in and out a lot. He's right on the edge of the cutout of the grass. And Jesse's ready to tag him. Joe's in his haunches. There he goes. Ground ball hit hard to tie. Kai. Kai can't get that one. They got him at first, though. Great play. Great catch by Jesse. Kai made a great fielding spot there. Fielder's choice, Brock, you think? Two outs, runner at second. Time called. Cody with a great big huge last name is the guy that's up right now. <laughs> Wilson Cinder. Rocket fire by Jake. There he goes. Oh, gets by Joe. Gannon at third. Uh, pass ball. Keep it in front. One ball. No strikes. Cloud cover co covering up Mr. Sunshine right at the moment. It's going to get chilly. 
That's going to score a run. Drops in fair on the right side. Brees is there to make the catch. Breaks up the shutout. Four to one, Bayhawks. Right, nice pitch. Nielsen at the plate. No balls, one strike. Time called. Jake is definitely taking his time, which is a good thing. Big lead at first. Cut out of the grass. About two and a half steps. Another step. Fly ball, center, right center field. Reese is there, makes an over-the-shoulder grab. Holy cow, great defensive play right there. Nice job. That ball was hit hard. In the alley, Reese Frickland, Thickland goes back and makes a catch over his shoulder like a wide receiver. We got one run on two hits. No errors for the Bayhawks. And one runner left on base. After five complete innings, it's the Bayhawks four, the, e the Eagles, the Tigers one. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bayhawk Baseball on MNB Broadcasting Net Network. Easy for me to say. It's the top of the sixth inning, 4-1 to one Bayhawks. Step to the plate, the shortstop, Kai Nelson, to lead off the top of the sixth. Hard hit ball. That's going to be a base hit. Nice job, Kai. One pitch, one hit. That answers everything. A little bingo, bango, bongo, and away we go. Brings up the pitcher. This young man has had a great day today on the bump. Number seven, Jake Truce. Throwing about 74 pitches. Kai was kind of cheating off. Aldridge thought he'd better go over and take a look at him. Big walker over there knocks it down. Kai's creeping. Aldridge is set and ready. Strike called. Truce at the plate. He's a very good off-field hitter. Hit something to the right side. Second baseman is way off. Big hole to the right side right now. Kai gets off. Ooh, got him. Hit by pitch. Left side of his shoulder. Puts runners on second and first. Time called. I think they're going to go to the bullpen. How many pitches he got, Brock? 76 pitches in three innings. Four innings? Three innings? Three and a half? Three and a, a fourth. Does it? Does it? Four? Going to bring to the bump a new arm. Looks like it's going to be the low, low kid, I think. So Kai is Kai's coming to the dugout. We're gonna have a pinch runner at Mr. Good Buffalo at second base. Yeah, it's gonna be the 
low kids. Oh, no, Zach. Zach's question. He's 20, 23 is on the bump. Oh, no. Good, good Buffalo is not running. Kai, Kai is going back out there. I thought they were going to make a, pit, a change because they were going to change pitchers, but. Fleshman on the mound. I thought we used him as a pinch runner. Fleshman. Yeah, I thought when they when they had a pitch runner that they used him. Okay, I'm glad to see you hear the behind the scenes things. Yeah, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to everybody that's listening. It might be only me. I hope you're watching the rebroadcast. Let's take a, take a couple seconds. Make sure you like us, subscribe to our to our channel. Uh, you know we don't have a lot of followers. Please spread the word. Um, we would we'd like to be over 300 followers by the end of the baseball season. We're at 133. So subscribe to us. Tell your aunts and uncles. Don't just watch us, but subscribe to us. It doesn't do anything. Just gives you alerts. You know, share it, like it. Please do that. That really helps us. Also. The next coach's corner, I think we're going to uh, do it tomorrow. We'll try to drop it over the weekend if we can. It depends. Might do it Saturday morning before the baseball game. Uh, come and join us Saturday at Bayhawk Park. We play um, South Woodby um, at 1 o'clock. So make sure you join us. We'll be on the air about 15 minutes early. My loud mouth will be on about five minutes early. So make sure you come and jo join us. Like us. Subscribe to us. Joe, too, steps to the plate with... Runners in at second and first. The center fielder. Fleshman is ready, and he's ready to rock and fire. Right-handed pitcher. Woo, great swing by the twofer. Fastball, strike one. Jake Truce, good lead at first. Kai's in and out. Curveball for a strike. Ah, right, Joe, let's go. Base hit's going to score Kai, I guarantee you, because he's got some wheels out there. Second. The 0-2 pitch. Outside for ball one. One ball, two strikes. Like I said, great baseball tradition here at Burlington Edison High School. Coach Clem just did an absolute fabulous job with this program. And it just continues to motor on. They got great players. They do a great job here in the Valley. Outside, ball two. Two balls and two strikes. Short stops in and out at second with Kai at second base. Ooh, swing and a miss, strike three, catch remains, a great catch, out number one. Brings to the plate, the first baseman, number 25, Jesse Harward. Really good hit up the middle last time at the plate. Runners at second and first, one out, big left-hander up. Outside pitcher, ooh, umpire was going to pull the trigger. Ball one. That was close. Fleshman. Picking up his sign. Long, deep look into the catcher. He's ready. Rocks. Nope, oh, checking. Kai has got him just like thinking he's eating Cheerios or something out there. I don't know. But I'll just tell you, Kai's got him going. Shortstop is way over. Big huge hole on the left side for Jesse. And he goes after that hole. Hit hard to the third baseman. There's nowhere to go. He's hustling down the line. Oh, we got him at first base. Moves the runners over. Fielder's choice. We're out number two. Runners move up. 60 feet on Jesse's hit to the left side. Kai's at third. Jake's at second. 
Grass is at the plate. Foul ball. Strike one. Owen Rasmussen, great defensive third baseman today. He's done a great job. These young guys, they have really worked hard on their craft and on the game of baseball. It's not easy, folks. Round ball, hitting a round bat with some guy throwing it at you. 75 plus miles an hour at this level. Good lead at third by Kai. Ball gets passed. He might score. Fleshman's ready. Checking the runners. Rocks and fires. Outside pitch for a ball. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Glad the wind's not blowing. Very nice evening out here at the ballpark. Hi, there it goes down the first third base line. Stay there, Kai. Catcher throws down to third. Kai had a huge lead, like I said, at third base. And they're trying to keep him honest down there. But ball gets away, and he's scoring, I'll guarantee you. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Top of the sixth inning. Trying to get that run back. Hard hit ball in the air. Center field, center fielder, prowls underneath it, makes the catch for out number three. For the Bayhawks. No runs on one hit. There was no Burlington Edison errors, and there was two runners left on base. After five and a half, it's four to one, Bayhawks. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Burlington Edison High School. Bottom of the sixth inning. Jackson Thurman, the DH, steps in. Jake True still on the bump for the Bayhawks. He's done a great job. Hard hit ball down the left field line. Hook and foul. That could be ooh, off the foul pole <laughs> or off the fence post. And bounces into a glass for Lewis Auto Glass. Foul ball moment. Make sure you join us for the rebroadcast. We're played anytime you want to click on it. So we fit your schedule. And if you're like me, you just stick an uh, earbud in your ear and listen to it while you're at work. <laughs> I don't, but I just like to get the minutes up. <laughs> Or fall asleep with it running. <laughs> Help us with the minutes. Time called.
Thurman's ready. Jake throws. Oh, great swerve ball for strike three. Holy cow. That was a fool me pitch right there. Slider inside on his knees. Great pitch right there. Tyler Walker steps to the plate with one out. Walker struck out last time at the plate. Foul ball. Strike one. Old Glory's kind of blowing from our left to the right, from third base to first base, across the diamond. So oh, good pitch. Strike called. No balls, two strikes, 0-2. Oh, no balls, two strikes on Walker. Jake rocks and fires, strike three! They get the big fella twice. Great pitch right there by Jake. Two outs, top of the sixth inning, and he is still humming pitches. Now they're gonna make a change here. Nope, Num number 18. Hudson Baker. Hudson Baker steps to the plate. That's high school baseball this at its finest right there. That's just the PA guy that doesn't see what's going on. We don't know the name, so we got to look it up real fast. Baker up. He's ready. Swing and a miss. Jake is still pumping it. Whew. Bring it, big fella. 81 pitches. That's a great day for him. Strike two. Good pitch. No balls, two strikes. That might have been the umpire got the page from Denny's that his table is ready. Jake rocks and fires. Popped up left side. That's going to be foul, but Rasmussen's there to make the play. Up against the fence almost to make the play by Mr. Rasmussen. Great job for out number. For out number three, there was no runs, no hits, no errors. Jake Truce, nine pitches that inning. Great job, big dog. We'll be right back for the top of the seventh. Grab yourself a beverage and join me for the seventh inning. Welcome back, Bayhawk fans, to Bayhawk Baseball right here on the MNB Broadcast Network. It is a great day in the Valley. Joe Harward's going to lead us off for the top of the seventh inning. Joe's ready. Joe's ready. Fishman throw. Oh, right side. Got to make a play. Joe's hustling. He's safe. Oh! Got him at the very last second right there. Holy cow. Short second baseman. Had to go far to his right. Rough throw to get Joe. 
Trout, number one. Hunter's up. Hunter can rip it right here. Strike. Yep, that was Denny's. It was given him the old buzzer there on the old pager. Uh, letting that crew know that their table's ready. Hard hit ball, third base side. Third baseman makes a great play. Long throw across the diamond. Makes the play for out number two. Great play right there. Ball hit hard in the hole. Third baseman steps back, makes the grab. Right fielder Reese Ficklin comes to the plate. And a little two-out rally. Swing and a miss, foul ball. No balls, one strike. Hard hit ball to third baseman. Scoops it up off the edge of the grass. Long throw across for out number three. Three up, three down. We're going to go to the bottom of the seventh inning. We'll be right back. Welcome back. That was a quick inning. Seven pitches for the Burlington Edison Tigers. Oh, we're gonna make we're gonna make a we made a move here. Kai Nelson's gonna be on the bump. Jake Truce goes to shortstop after a great six complete inning of pitching. About eighty three pitches, eighty one pitches, somewhere right in there. That's a great day for Jake. He only gave up he gave up a few hits. Had a little air, a couple airs behind him, but all in all, a great day to hang your hat on in the middle of March. So, brings the bump, Kai Nelson, a guy that the Bayhawks are going to have to count on a little bit more this year than they have in the years past. That one ate Jacob that Joe threw down there. The reason why is because of the injury that we got to Alden Scott. Kind of hurts us at second and definitely hurts us on the bump. So Joe's out, Joe Harwood's out there manicuring the top of the pitcher's mound, trying to get the holes filled in for Kai so he doesn't sink into Jake's stride. Nick Dermott, the center fielder, is up. Kai Nelson on the bump. Joe Harwood behind the plate. Bayhawks are ready, and here we go for the seventh inning for ball outside. Rasmus in it, third. Truce, truce at short. The kid at second. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Jesse Harwood at first. Outfield stays the same. One ball, one strike. Rock and fire strike. Two. Great pitch right there by Kai. Brings her down into the dirt. Makes him chase it. This young fellow did, does a great job in center field for the Tigers. Nelson gets the signs. Curveball. Ooh, just a little high. Great pitch right there. Starts up in his eyes. You want to let it go, and it falls down in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. High 
eye, ball three, good eyes right there. Three balls, two strikes. Four to one, Bayhawks. Swing and a miss, strike three. Great pitching right there by Kai. Joe calls it on the outside. Kai hits the glove. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Trust in your catcher. Trust the pitcher is going to hit the spots. We're going to have a pinch hitter. Moe up. Asher Moe. Asher Moe. Asher Moe. Pinch hitting. Strike. Great swerve ball right there. Tuck a little something off of it. Change up. No balls, one strike. Nelson's ready. He's quick, too. I like it. Oh, hard hit ball in the gap right there. Oh, he made the play. He caught it. That's an out. Great play by, great play by Hunter for out number two. He's out. He's out. He's out. He said he caught it. Doesn't matter. The home plate umpire is the guy that calls it. His, his back was to it. Now they're going to have to have a conference because they say that he dropped it, but it was a great play by Hunter out there in left field. He smothered it, came up with it. There's no way in the world that the first base umpire can call it because he ha has his back turned. He's looking at the bag as he's going backwards towards second base. Home plate umpire clinched his hands together and, and, and made the out call. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Runner is out. Good call by the home plate umpire. Remember, it's hugging umpire day. Two outs. Burlington Edison's coach has a few words with the umpire, not many. The umpire turns his back because that's his job to be able to see the runner. Two outs, bottom of the seventh inning, top of the order. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ball one. Granger's up. 0 2. Might be a little bit of a, I made a mistake, but he didn't make a mistake. That was a great umpire call right there. Not the pitch, but. Oh, it's 2-1. There we go. Two balls, one strike. Kai rocks and fires. Ooh. That curveball's kind of nasty, if you ask me. Three balls, one strike, two outs, bottom of the seventh inning. Outside for ball four. Runner at first base. Lehman steps the plate. Granger's got a big lead at first. Hard hit ball down the third baseline. Good backhand by Rass. Doesn't have to make the long throw, but he does. Foul ball. No balls, one strike. Kai Nelson working hard right here. There goes the runner. Nope. Strike two. Granger's got a great Granger's got a great move over there. It's amazing to see how he has that first step. He's ready to go, but doesn't go. Hard hip, fly ball, right side. The kid's there. The, oh, he misses it off the inside of his glove, off the heel of his glove. Oh, 
Big error right there by the kid. Error by Eric Hellfield. Puts runners at second and first with two outs. Kai's working hard. Ball right there. You could feel a little bit of the Tigers get jacked up over there in the third base dugout. We got to put some put a sculpture on it right here, right now. Hard hit ball to left field. And boy, oh boy, there it goes. It's all the way off the wall. That that's gonna score one. That's gonna score two. Tying run now sets at second base because we can't catch the ball at second base. Holy cow. Double in the gap. Bayhawks call timeout. Coach Tom goes to the mound. Infield comes in to talk to him. Four to three. Tied up six, six on the hits. Two errors. One error for the home team. Two errors for the Bayhawks. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, Bayhawk fans. We got ourselves a ball game all of a sudden. We had out number three right there. Now Kai's got to work a little harder. We got a runner at second. Great double off the wall right there. Hunter Nelson, and boy, oh boy, the Tiger fans and the Tiger players are going up crazy. Swing and a miss, strike one. Foul ball. Straight back. Hey, no big deal, Eric. Let's go. Got to make the next one. Popped up again. Straight back. Watch yourself. Off the school. Foul ball. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Two outs. Here we go, Kai. Let's go. Oh, I've probably been off the entire time. Foul ball. That's a Lewis Auto Glass. I broke your windshield moment. <laughs> Bellingham, Lyndon and Mount Vernon. No balls, two strikes. Fans are going crazy on both sides. Like I said, Kai's working hard. Tying run at second base for the Tigers. Oh, outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Kai is ready. Rocks and fires. Ah, strike three. That's the ball game. That is a called strike. I think it almost foul, foul tipped. Two runs on one hit on one big air that did not haunt us. Gave up two runs. Final score. Bellingham four. Burlington Edison Tigers three. Both teams had six hits tonight. The Bayhawks had two errors, and the home team, Burlington Edison Tigers, had one error. Please make sure you come and join us on Saturday, 1 o'clock game time against South Woodby. We'll be live at about 10 minutes to the hour of 1. Make sure you have lunch ready for me, because I'll be hungry. I sure hope that all of you enjoyed today's ball game as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Make sure you like us. Send us to grandparents. Double tap us when you get on there and watch it for the second time. And let it run during the night so we get some view hours. Hey, 
from my statistician, producer, broadcasting partner, who says nothing. He's not the best colored guy in the business for nothing. Brock Harward. This is Uncle Mike saying good night from Burlington Anderson High School. Goodbye now.